It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to again another rainy Sunday here what in is Kentucky. Our deal? <laughs> uh, I feel like that's a theme. Right? I don't know, but I feel like a rainy Sunday is a good time to get into some bourbon. So. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know if three o'clock is like normally an acceptable hour, but that's what works for us. So. Yeah. That's what we do here. And um, uh, yeah, I don't think anyone so else yeah. has a. Thanks any to, problems with it? I don't think so. I mean, some people have been like, maybe I'll drink later, but you know, whatever. <laughs> hey, do what you want. Um, <laughs> thanks to everyone who's joined us in the chat. You guys got here early today. I love it. Yeah. Um, thank you uh, to anyone who's a first time viewer. Thanks for joining us. I saw a couple people say that this is their first time watching. Oh, That's cool. awesome. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Join Welcome. us. <laughs> Join us. One of us. Um, so. <laughs> oh, Chad Holly said, hello. And this hello. Is Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, I must look like a Yeti in this getup. Already with the impressions. Already. Uh, right off the bat. Um, yeah, uh, so, um, yes, welcome. Everyone saying hi. So Hello. What we got going on today, Sarah? We are going to be uncorking multiple things live, which, like, doesn't <sighs> usually happen. Um, That'll got, blow your beard back. Right? Well, yours, because it does move now. It's, <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting long. Put a little <laughs> product in it today. You did? Yeah, it's got a little hold to it. Oh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. interesting. I don't know about that. If you haven't heard, I'm growing it out until we go to Austin. Uh, actually, at the end of this week. I'm very excited. Um, because, you know. Raise your hand if you're going to Austin, too. <laughs> the Whiskey Vault guys both have big beards, and I thought I needed to kind of step it up a little bit. So, yeah. But this is about as big as it's going to. Um, I think get a little bit bigger in a week, but. Um, so we've got several things to get through today. Like I said, we're going to be uncorking, as you can see in the description, the Garrison Brothers, which is from, like, right outside of Austin. We're mm -hmm. actually going to be going there on Friday, too. Um, they sent us a sample bottle to uncork. So we're very excited about that. Yes. Um, yeah, and then we're also going to be, as we promised per last week, uh, doing some mystery samples from our friend Sal L, who's also in the chat, and requests that you do the Christopher Walken voice. So maybe when we get there, you can you okay. can channel that uh, okay. for him. Uh, so, yeah, we got those. Um, we've got the Doc Porters that Robert Morris sent us. Robert Morris. <laughs> Right? Now I'm second guessing. Yeah. Sent us um, a couple weeks ago, and the Woodenville that Joseph Brazo sent us also a few weeks ago. So we're very yeah. excited to get into those. And then Chad had a bottle of this. Wade Lynn Ranch. Wade Lynn Ranch. Which right is a here. Kentucky distillery. Uh, very craft, very small. And I saw this little, what is this? A 200? 200 milliliter? Yes, 200 milliliter. And I was like, uh, I want to try this because this is going to be our highest proof of the day. It's uh, 122 proof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to be trying that. Uh, um, our mystery samples and just talking to you guys hanging out yes. hanging out for an hour here on a Sunday So a couple more side notes first as Chad always kindly does for anyone watching the replay puts the timestamps down below So that you can skip us babbling on and on about yeah. things that don't apply to you if you want to <laughs> in the pinned comment Speaking of things that don't apply to everyone um, If you are gonna be in Austin next weekend, I'm trying to set a meetup for Sunday I'm having trouble finding a bar downtown like a good bourbon bar that's open from at four o'clock because I want to do like a four to six meetup. Um, so if you know of a place in Austin that we should go and do this and you want to come too, obviously everyone's welcome. Um, but can you email us at it's at gmail.com? I almost forgot it for a second. Uh, yeah, it's bourbon at gmail.com and let us know where we should meet up because we don't know. We're not from there. So we're not from around those parts. Nope. So anyways. All right. On with it. On with it. All right. <clears throat> So, full disclosure and all that jazz. Oh, it's still not high enough. Pull back a little bit, I guess. Do you want to put it on the book? Let's put it on the book. Yeah. Ah, exactly. there, there we, we go. go. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, full disclosure, they sent us this. So this was sent to us kindly from the distillery. It is a uh, 375 that says it's not for resale. It's for, you know, um, sampling or gift only, not for sale. So, you know, full disclosure, they sent us this, but all views and opinions are our own and, and not influenced by the gift, yada, 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 blah. Okay. Jeffrey! Oh, right off the bat! You started so early, thank you! <laughs> and Jeffrey uh, picked up his first Four Roses single barrel, which is an OESV. Mwah! Great, great 
yes. the recipe. What an there. awesome choice. Yeah. Um, thank you for the super chat. You know what time it is. It's go We're going to try to get a little less aggressive with it this time because I know it could be off putting, but it's fun. That's too soft. Give it. I need to figure out a beat. Yeah, you do need to determine a beat. Hmm. Yo, DJ, drop me a beat. I can't, I can't do that. I like that. That's enough, though. <laughs> All right. All right, cool. Thank you, though. Thank yes, you, Jeffrey. Thank you. And thanks again Much to Justin it. Self for sending us the cowbell. Cowbell. We appreciate it. It was fun. <clears throat> I know that it was a softer one, but it gets, like, the more Super Chats we get, the louder it gets, and I feel like the more <laughs> aggressive it is, and the more we drink, the more it's loud. I don't know. Yeah, our poor recorder over here is just clipping every it's time. Like, it's no, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I can only imagine what it sounds like on your all's end. Okay. I'm so excited to try this. But I don't like wax sealed. Like, not I don't like them. It's just, they're so hard to open. And every time I feel like you're going to pop oh, in the yeah. face. <laughs> so, um, a little bit about Garrison Brothers. This is Texas straight bourbon whiskey. Uh, born and bred in High, Texas? H-Y-E. H-Y-E. Not Rye, but High. It's uh, 94 proof. And again, this is a 375. I kind of looked up, it's since this baby. was sent to us, we don't know how much it costs, but it looks like... Uh, this place called Specs online has a fifth for seventy three sixty five. I don't know if that is accurate at all. So we don't know. Specs is like the store around there. Um, Dewey Kaufman was telling me about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that should be. And someone else too. That should be right then, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad oh, at all. Easy. That's easy. I like how they put the uh, the star here Let's in the wax, it. and then also, they, I think they. Took this right from Captain America's uh, suit. Yeah, right from his shield. <laughs> yeah, from like um, the second movie on. All right. Ooh. Oh, pretty nice for a three seven five. Got some leave behind. residual. Yeah, residual wax. Yeah, so I'll just pour it this way and avoid okay. avoid the wax. Oh, you're right. gonna do it. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, I'll read that afterwards. Let's get this pouring. Wow, okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like, you know, $73 is high for a craft bourbon, but then you look at how every other craft bourbon is priced, and I honestly feel like that's so typical. It smells good. And I think it's, you know, I guess a nature of being small and having limited product and needing to keep, you know, your business afloat. You, you've got to charge more. And, like, I don't know. If you're visiting, I'm sure it's a fun thing to pick up a bottle. Mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, a, a vacation expense. But I can, I understand. I'm torn between how I feel on pricing for craft. <laughs> I get it, and I also don't like it. <laughs> so. so as we let this just open up a smidge. Sure, smidge. Uh, Going to read what's here on the bottle. So it says, homegrown and handmade small batch straight bourbon whiskey made with the finest Texas corn and hill country rainwater. Aged in slow growth Amer North American oak harvested from sustainable forests. <laughs> so there you go. Well, we just got another super chat from Michael Kerr, and he says cow cowbells are meant to be loud. Wow. So well. go ahead and give it an appropriate but short. <laughs> if it's going to be loud, it's going to be shorter. <laughs> wow. I feel like a crotchety old lady you being like, sure it's so do. loud. I'm not going to muffle it at all. Maybe I'll hold it back. That won't do any good, but here we go. Jeez. Banner's ready. <laughs> Soup's on. Nice. Come and get it. <laughs> Come and get it. Soup's on. <laughs> yeah. Soup's on. Bourbon's on. AKA whiskey. I do need a triangle, I feel like, to be like, the bourbon's ready. <laughs> yeah. All right. For sure. All right. Okay. Oh, that's an interesting that nose. That is, yeah, earthy? Or what is that? It is earthy and it's also it smells like, like a cowhide. It smells like Texas. It's leathery and also kind of like a bowl of cereal. Uh huh. Um, yeah, grainy. It's yeah. Got some, yeah, some grain notes. Uh, somewhere, I thought I saw the um, mashed. There's also like some honey in there too. It's like got a lighter, sweeter note. Mm hmm. Not brown sugar, not that like deeper caramelized sugar. Interesting. <laughs> All right, well. Bottoms up. Mm. 
I get the cereal. I do get some brown sugar and honey. Uh huh. Wow. Finish is short. But it's got some kick for 94 proof. It really does. It has a nice, yeah, nice uh, kind of spice over the tongue. Hmm. It's good. It, you know, I don't want to be the guy who, you know, assumes that Texas is all raisin ropes and broncos because, you know, I get offended with people like, oh, Kentucky. So you don't wear shoes. You don't wear you... shoes and you ride horses everywhere. You and, can marry your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone uh, is drinking bourbon all the time. That part's kind of true. Um, so I don't want to do the same about Texas. But that being said, I feel like this tastes like Texas. It I've never been, so I don't know. Like a cattle ranch in a glass. <laughs> um, you know? It does have, um, like, it's got a, good we'll finish. Say a Kentucky hug. I think it's short. It's got a short Texas hug. It's got a Texas hug. Yeah. yeah. For 94 proof, that actually surprised me. It gave me, I'm warmed up. Yeah. Um, I think. Wow. What do I think? I've, hmm. Smell it again and think of uh, sun tea. Sun tea? Sun What's that? Sun tea that's been in the sun. Justin Self. So yeah, I feel like I created a monster. <laughs> you did. Yes. But thank you. But we you. will cowbell for it's you that fun. in just a moment. I get... It does kind of... Tea? Like tea with lemon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still get a lot of cereal, but you have to do the thing. Oh, let's wait till after the review. Okay, Justin, you must wait. We will... We will cowbell you, sir. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Hmm. It's good. Like, it's unique. It's very unique. And I'm, I'm thinking what I read was in this box. It came in this... It's not here? Box. No, that's just the tasty notes. Mm. It did come in this nice box, but I think that's just for these, like... Yeah. Would you call them media samples? Or, yeah. like, gift it, gifting? Uh... Blah, 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 blah. No, no, uh, mash bill. And we don't know how old this is, right? I mean, we know it's like at least two years, but. Um, hold on. <laughs> One moment, please. So I put this back together. Get it together, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I pulled up a review. Or no, it wasn't a review. Oh, no, sorry. Nope, no idea of the age. Here. But it's at least two. Yeah, it's straight. And I would assume that it is a two. Which for two years, I mean... Uh, I, I mean, it could knows. be four. I don't know. It's at least two. Yeah, it's at least two. Which no one? no age statement, so it probably is four. Or they would have to put that on the bottle. Derp. Yeah. I was like, I can't see it. Where is it? Um, yeah. But for, you know, I think it does have a lot of flavor for something that's... Yeah, on the younger side. It's super... I personally would like to see it, you know, older and higher proof. Oh, always. But it has really... I mean, I don't... I've Listen, I've had much worse. No, I mean... Is this the first it, text straight up Texas whiskey that I've had? Mm-hmm. Texas bourbon. It... The finish gets a little grassy. But I think... It does. The graininess, the grain forwardness of it, and the grass kind of work together. Like It's not off-putting. It's not off-putting. Sometimes I drink something and I'm like, that is so grassy and young. Yeah. And bleh. It's like the typical bourbon flavor, but then it goes green grass at the end, and, and that really throws you off. This being like its own unique type of grain and, again, Texas flavor, mm -hmm. that, um, like that that somewhat grassy note at the end just kind of works with it. Um, Big T Bourbon and Scar says it's typically it's three years. Oh, okay. I think that that's, he's talking about well, this. So maybe they don't put the age on it because you know, it's not for resale. If you, I just, I have to go into craft bourbon with a different mindset because if I go into craft bourbon and I'm expecting, you know, like, I don't know, wild turkey or like Jim Beam flavors or anything like that. It's just like, it's a completely different world i feel like yeah but i mean this is says right here cooked distilled barreled and bottled by garrison brothers distillery high texas i appreciate that yeah i mean this is definitely 
one of the better, like, the better craft bourbons that I've had. Yeah, and we don't know, and we're going there. So we're we'll, going to go we'll, there. We'll, I'm very we excited. We can fill you in on all this stuff later. Like, if they're using, you know, 25-gallon barrels, if they're using 5.7 gallon, if you're using the typical 53, mm -hmm. if they rotate them, if they, if it's, you know, a heat cycled warehouse, all of that jazz, we'll try to find out for you guys and, you know, fill you in on another live episode. But I'll say this about it. It is unique enough to where I feel like you should give it a try if you have the opportunity. Yes. That's tough. I mean, yes, I agree. You should give it a try. If you're ever in Texas and you can buy some at a bar. That's what I would recommend because I feel like, or if no, you're gonna go by, bro. gonna go by the distillery, then I do think it is like a cool visiting purchase. <clears throat> yeah. But I feel like seventy something dollars is a lot to spend on giving something a try. But then again, you're helping a, you know, a growing distillery, and that sort of raises the whole industry up. So you know, take, do and, whatever you want. And it's also like, you know, you don't know what your flavor profile is until you know what it is. So try as many different things as you can because, you know, like this might've been mine. Mine's more, you know, nutty, caramel, you know, that type of thing. But this might be yours. And if you don't try it, you yeah. might not ever know that. So that's why I always say, you know, give it a try if it's reasonable in price. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Now this is for- Ding that bell. Not for Rick, because he, he said, said no, no cowbell. So this but isn't this is for you, Rick. For Justin. <laughs> it's for Justin. Who, uh, and then we won't do one for you because you requested. Donated, so donated this cowbell. Oh yeah, I like that. That was nice. That was I think nice. you should have left the nice last little... two notes off. No, no, no. It was it was pretty because it started ba 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 da 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 ba ba. It was a, it was coming full circle. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> Talk to me about my beats. Um. Yeah. I'm in the beat laboratory all day trying to come up with new sick beats. Yeah. I think that if you are into... But thank you, Rick. Yes, thank you. For the no cowbell super yes. chat. Yes, thanks so much. <laughs> you still yeah. get thanked. If you're into trying new craft bourbons, I think you definitely need to try this one. Um, if you are not impressed and that's not for you and you'd rather spend your money on something that you know you like from bigger distilleries, then I think you should do that. Um, I mean, lastly, I'll, <clears throat> I'll read you what... Their tasty notes are, you know, these are always interesting when it comes straight from the distillery. Mm -hmm. I won't read all of it. But it starts off with a uh, subtle nose of golden delicious apple meat, which is a weird way to say apple peel, right? No, apple peel would be the outside. The meat would be the inside, but I've never heard anyone okay. call it apple meat. Apple meat and <laughs> honey. So oh, honey. Yeah. Uh, sweet floral verbena. I don't know what that is. Fresh cut grass. That is in there. Saddle leather. Get out of here. Oh, sorry. Saddle leather. Definitely. Did you read this first before we tasted it? <laughs> Yesterday, but I forgot all this. Cinnamon and honey. I think the honey is what I was getting in that kind of that tea flavor. Yeah. Cinnamon it is like I a wasn't so much picking up on. Lemon and honey or something. Mm, yeah. Springtime flavors of honeysuckle and orange candy, yellow pound cake, baking spices, lemon gumdrops, and sugar cookies. I would have to really look for those. I didn't I didn't really see so many of those. Uh, long and engrossing finish. That's a little a little shorter. Um, complex, smoky, country, fair, car caramel, apple. I see that. Yes. Sprinkled with walnuts and cinnamon. Again, I wasn't getting the cinnamon so much. I don't know so about much, the walnuts. I got a little cinnamon. Did you? Just a little. Maybe. I feel I like overall that's an accurate description of it. Except for I don't get the apple meat. <laughs> um, but that's just me. Apple meat. And uh, I don't really get the, what was the last thing that it said? Oh, I don't get the walnuts, yeah, really. Yeah, I didn't get any but, type of But, I mean, it could be really there. subtle. I don't yeah. know. So, cool. Now. Now for something completely different. Maybe. <laughs> because we don't know what it is. It's a mystery. But Sal did say that this... I'll just let you in on this. Yeah. He said um, that it is a craft bourbon mystery sample. Oh. So, it actually fits in really well with what we're doing today. And we didn't even know that. I didn't know that. Sorry, I'm cracking it up here. Reset the old palette. Thanks to everyone for joining us from all over the place. Hello. And saying hi. That's awesome. Um, Clyde Mays is good. Clyde Especially Mays the 86 is good. proof. No, I thought it was the 92. 92, 94, 92? 92. 92. 92. The one with the, like, the uh, scrapbook the looking film. kind of. Yeah, the old film looking label. Mm -hmm. I really like that one. It is really good. It is really good. Crackle time. 
I do feel like that one had such unique flavors. It's not like your normal caramel, vanilla, brown sugar, blah, 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 that you do have to reset from it because I feel like that honey <clears throat> or something could carry over. Yeah. All right. Now, this is the first time on the show, live or otherwise. Welcome all 154 of you. Hey, hello. What? This is a mystery, mystery sample, sample from Sal L., which I believe he's from the house of L. <laughs> so he's related to Superman. Cal L. And Zor L. And. No? Anyone? Yeah, I'm sure they get it. All right. So we can't open this until we try it. And I'm just going to pour from one. Yeah. It's me trying to get crazy here. No. It, I still got to cook dinner after this. Yeah. Drunk Sarah should not be in the kitchen. Sarah with an H? Sarah with an H does not belong in the kitchen. No. Keep her away from hot objects and sharp objects. Yeah. And just objects Just in objects. General. Just like put her to bed. <laughs> just <laughs> take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Mystery sample. Mystery sample. If we had like sophisticated, like one day if we ever actually had people helping us with our live, we should do like little intros, like mystery sample intro. <laughs> Cut yeah. to take a Paul Shaver. That sequence. Yeah, mystery sample. Miss, you know, be, yeah. Yeah, plan, yeah. <laughs> it's mystery sample. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hi, Pam. Pam's here. Pam's here, everybody. Best behavior. So just stop talking about what we were just talking about, okay? Don't tell her. Oh, whoa, this is totally different. It is different. Um, I think it smells a little bit more bourbon typical. I mean, yeah, I definitely get more oaky notes. Mm -hmm. The caramel is more present. Getting, But it's still light. It's yeah, still light. Like gentle, delicate flavors. Some sweetness in there. Picking up on the corn. But also maybe like some syrupy honey kind of in there. Yeah, I get like a really faint maple. All right. Now, do we know, as Sal told us, is this bourbon? Or he is said this... it's a craft bourbon. A craft bourbon? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Um, cheers to Sal. Cheers. Ooh, it's, it, uh, it comes on strong. ba ba ba, -ba. I feel like it's going to be a trick. I don't know what's going on. It tastes mm -hmm. high proof. It tastes high proof. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, it's got this dance over my tongue, front to middle part. You're supposed to be doing Christopher Walken. Oh, that's right. Wow. Yes, Brian. Sarah with an H doesn't cook. She gets Wendy's. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's, tr it's true. Sarah. Sarah with an H. She always goes Wendy's. I don't, I don't even know. No, it's good. I feel that on the front and mm. middle of the tongue, not so much the back. Sal, I really hope this is a Tennessee mm. bourbon or whiskey because Chad's face will be so funny if it is. That's fine. I have no problem with Tennessee. Oh, no problem? <laughs> it's okay. I'm just giving him a hard time. Hey, this is what we do. Christopher Walken might. I don't oh. know. Hi from Nova Scotia. What? Hi. What's up? <laughs> What's up? What's up? Nova Scotian. Thanks for coming in. Um... <laughs> no, it's good. I mean, the tongue dance is good. You like it? Yeah. Is it like a two step or like a waltz? <laughs> it's a sachet. Um, like, <laughs> it's uh, the finish kind of went away pretty quick. Uh, it's not super long finish, but I like the finish. It just like it, it really is not leaving much on the mm -hmm, tongue. Mm -hmm. It quickly vacates. You don't even need a palate cleanser because there's really just not really anything on your palate anymore. Yeah. Joe says he knows what it is. How? How do you? What? They probably told you. People are, are are commiserating outside of the. Uh. I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> so in summary, I think it's got a really bold, deep flavor. Oh, it, it comes on quick. Um. It goes to palate, then it starts going down to finish. I like it a lot. There's like a weird kind of flavor towards the end but then it finishes out really good yeah. so i don't know what that is and i can't really put my finger on it but other than that i really like it yeah um, i like it too so can we can we find out what it is i want to open? know can we, can open? we open it can we, we're gonna open it all right sal we're gonna open it we're gonna open it don't don't tell them let us find out ah. this year's nominees <laughs> <laughs> la la land the old, that's uh, not right johnny carson thing 
And he would say, something funny. And then he would read it. It was, he was, oh, okay. Anyway. Oh! It's a 12 and a half year old Joseph Magnus straight bourbon whiskey. 113.62 proof. What? From the private barrel of whiskey bourbon and scotch enthusiasts. That's how Joe knew what it was. Oh! Wow! Joe. Uh, this barrel was not finished in a PX cask, which is a, a PX sherry, is that right? Is that a PX sherry or wine? I feel like P you're asking the wrong person. Um, <laughs> as most Magnus barrels are. Okay. This is good. Well, Sal L from the House of L, thank you. Thank you so much. A, a, that was a fun. A blessing on your house. The House of L. Um, I really hope he's a Superman fan, or otherwise he's just like, what is he Stop talking, talking about? about? Uh, well, we didn't guess the age at all. Maybe we should have tried to have weighed in on that. No, I don't know um, that it's really about guessing. I don't no. really care as long as I like it. Yeah. You know? 113 proof. I'll Says buy that. Says the girl who always tries to guess. Oh, yeah, I know. I'd buy that. I, I, we did say it tasted high proof, over 100. I would have guessed between 110 and 120, I guess. I mean, I yeah. would have said probably 110. Yeah. No, it's good. The only thing that like, really just isn't hitting home is I feel like if you were to chart its progress, it would go whoop, whoop, you know. But that's a fun whoop. See, I'm like whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like the yeah. end comes back up, I feel like. Yeah. But there's just that like one moment of like, huh? And then it's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, the first one, I mean, after I had two or three, it was voop, voop. But the first one, it just seemed like it erased from existence there. But no, it's good. the flavors that are in there are really enjoyable. It's Ultra this, Magnus. This caramel uh, barrel that's just. Ooh, Monica very likes the inviting. blind samples. I like the mystery samples too. This is fun. Yeah. Like, we need, mm. maybe Perry could do that for us one day. Like, mystery sample us from what's in the house, and we could do, like, yeah. a whole mystery sample day or something. Mystery sample theater. Yeah. That would be fun. Because 3,000. Whoop. <laughs> because I, I feel like that is a good time, but, I mean, we can't just be like, yes, we will do a mystery sample episode. <laughs> it's your responsibility. Yeah. But thanks. This was so awesome. Yeah. And I'm excited that we have more of it, because I like it. Yeah. Oh, and we can maybe mystery... Well, Perry knows what it is now. Well, he's not watching. Or still not watching. But he watch will watch it. Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll mystery somebody else. Yeah. Because sharing is caring. Hey, is Swan in the chat? Oh, Swan, are you in the chat? I didn't see him. He said he he might be in here today. Uh, so I don't know. Oh, um, the address to send samples. Send us an email at itsbourbonite@gmail.com, and I will send you the address where you can send a sample. Which One day Magnus. we'll get a P.O. box. So, uh, Big T, it was. Uh, well, you put it away already. <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a pick, right? It's a twelve and a half year. Pickle. Yeah, twelve and a half year Joseph Magnus straight bourbon whiskey from the private barrel of whiskey bourbon and Scotch enthusiasts. And we're going to their meetup in October, which mm -hmm. is October twelfth. It's gonna be yep. very fun. They're yep. doing a whole thing. Yep, one hundred thirteen point six two proof. Very. Very nice. We precise. like it. Very nice. Very nice. How much? Wow. No, that was Mr. Carter again. Wow, Mr. Carter. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> what do you want to do? Um, we uh, have Doc Porters. Well, we said, I think we should go in the order that they're listed on the thing. Ooh, okay. So no one gets their feelings hurt. All right. Doc Porters? Doc Porters. All right. We'll read left to right. Doc Porters. Again, sent to us by Robert Morris. So this is a... Uh, North Carolina. A high wheat. 60% corn. Do you like, are you aware that you wheat? say wheat that way? Do you do it intentionally or is it an yeah, accident? Yeah, I can't. You do I, it I, intentionally. I can't not do Just it. Just say wheat. Wheat. Thank you. Wheat. God, that one Family Guy episode has ruined you. Ugh. Wheat thins? I hate it. <laughs> You're eating hair. Yeah. Uh, so the mash bill on this guy is 60% corn, 30% wheat, 10% malted barley. So this is a wheater. Um... I want to answer so many questions. Uh, Booker's is awesome. Baker's is great, too. But get Booker's. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, so it's aged to perfection, a minimum of eight months, in a 15-gallon white oak barrel char number three. Hmm. While standard 53-gallon bourbon barrels can take four years to age product, our small, smaller barrels reduce 
the aging time, creating a more intimate connection with the spirit, producing complex notes of clove, toffee, cocoa, and plum that perfectly <laughs> complement the smoky oak. Drink it neat on the rocks or in your favorite cocktail and enjoy every sip. Thanks for giving me permission to do what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Dad. Um, yeah, <laughs> thanks a lot. No, so, I, I'm interested to try it. Single um, barrel North Carolina bourbon whiskey. We're also like doing outside of Kentucky yeah. uh, stuff on this episode too. Fun. Fun. I mean, it wasn't intentional, but yeah, we've done Texas. I don't know where the Magnus is from. Um, North Carolina, Washington State, sure and then we're sure. coming back home for the last one. Yeah, it's true. Um, we're coming back home. We, let's see, who asked? Yeah, Charlotte, oh. North Carolina. Uh. Simon said a nice thing. Thanks for us. Thanks to us. What did for Simon say? Simon <laughs> says, you got to start it that way. Simon, Simon says, uh -huh. thank you guys for making these live streams and creating this community for of whiskey lovers to come together. Well, oh, that's so nice. Thank you thank all you. for coming together. Thank you, Simon. To watch us. Says. Um, that was really nice. And have yep. we had new riff? Uh, no, we have not had it yet, but we do have a bottle and we plan to uncork it soon. We have a, our schedule for the rest of the year is literally booked. Like it's every, it's planned. booked. It's planned. Every we know. release is planned now. So <laughs> when new things come out, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do. Shift. We're going to have to, uh, yeah. Which is tough because it's like, I want to do all the things, but our day jobs say no. You can't do all the things. You can only do most of the things. Most of the things. So we will yeah. continue to do most of the things. <laughs> all right, let's try this weeder. Let's do it. Oh, wait, what's the, I didn't read the proof. What? No, that's a barrel. 105 proof. 90. 90 proof. It's awfully dark for 90 proof. It is. Especially for eight and for, months old. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there you are. Oh, Magnus is DC. Great. So oh, we're all see. over. That's right. I knew that. All over the US today. Dang, I got, just by reading that nice little note, I got real behind in the chat. <laughs> um... Um, I think it's a Brolic whiskey. Brolic, Brolic. Had new riff the other day and really enjoyed it. So that makes me excited. Good. Um, catch up. Well, actually, I, I, I did try it on Perry's podcast. This is my bourbon podcast. You weren't on that episode. It was I Perry, was myself, and Swan. Uh, so yes, I have had it. If you'd like to know, go listen to his podcast. We'll also be uncorking it mm -hmm. uh, at some point soon. Hi, Jose Martinez from Austin. Hello. We'll see you in Austin. We'll see you there. Question mark? We'll, <laughs> we'll wave to you from the plane. <laughs> okay. So the nose smells like a younger whiskey. Um, for sure. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm doing two things at once. <laughs> You're multitasking. Oh, yeah. Interesting, interesting. But it also gives off a lot of lemon. <sighs> yes. Lemon. Some Lysol. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Some honey. Um, yeah, a little green. Almost like a, like a paprika or something. Hmm, yeah. Something that you season with. Very interesting flavors. I'm picturing an oven baked fish that's been cooked with lemon. Yeah, and pepper. And pepper. Yeah. Lemon pepper. Fish. A lemon pepper, which does not. I've never heard anyone say a lemon pepper fish when they're talking about bourbon. Well, this would pair with that, I feel like. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. I'm all caught up. I'm skeptical. But I do appreciate the opportunity to try this fun new thing. Very peppery. And I get a lot of tea flavor from it. Um, it's a little green. You taste the youth. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we gotta be we gotta be honest. I do have to be honest. As much. I'm excited to try something new, and always. I commend all distilleries for trying to do their own thing. Always. This needs some more time. Well, you know, the only... Yeah, I completely agree. I commend and celebrate... For eight months, though, it actually does have a lot of flavor. I'm shocked. And, and a coffee finish. It's got a coffee bean finish. Coffee? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
What was I going to say? Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I, I commend and celebrate uh, the effort all day long and, and always will. Where I, I kind of take a little bit of issue, and I understand it, you have to sell your product and hype your product, is this right here. Well, it takes 53-gallon barrels four years to age a product. Smaller barrels, it doesn't. take six to eight months. You, okay, the thing is, is like, you can, but should you? Like, you could do it, but should you Does do this it? taste like a four-year bourbon no. aged in a 53-gallon no. barrel? No, it, 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 it doesn't. Now, maybe two years it could taste more like a four. <laughs> but, I mean, yes, this is dark. It looks like it's been aged for a long time. Um, it's bringing some heat with it for 90 proof, I will say that. If you like a very subtle chocolate, more of a coffee It bean, is a coffee, like espresso kind of. Lemon tea type of non-typical bourbon flavors, then I feel like, you know... Yeah. This is in your wheelhouse. Yeah. I wonder what else they do. I'd be intrigued to try. I wonder if they do something older. And this is a single barrel. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting to me that they do single barrels. Why don't they blend? For a craft spirits place, that seems interesting to me. I do. I like the label with the film strip. That's kind of cool. Yeah. But... I appreciate the opportunity to try this. Robert Morris, thank you so much yes, for sending it. thank you. I was very intrigued. I think it's not... <laughs> not for me. I think it might be good in a cocktail. Mm, interesting. You know, because it's already got kind of that... That, like, yeah. Maybe something like lemony or, um, like, a coffee base. Yeah. Because it kind of almost feels like a breakfast... Because you were saying like tea, coffee, lemon. Yeah. It feels like a morning time. I breakfast wonder if you bourbon. could make like yeah. a breakfast breakfast cocktail. I would pair this with some bacon, honestly. I really would. I feel like it's got such light bacon citrusy and, and coffee flavors. It needs some fatty flavors. Like OBC, their uh, peanut, peanut butter, butter in a glass. Ooh. Or they're sorry, they're bacon in a glass that they serve with peanut butter. Well, dipping. they don't know. Yeah, so it's it's real thick cut. It's actually like pretty much if you cut this off and it was just this as a glass. They put a big strip of bacon in there, a couple strips, and then they give you this uh, peanut butter dipping sauce. Again, if you ever come to Lexington, go to OBC Kitchen. Mm. Do it. Ask for Iverson. Ask for Iverson. He's amazing. He's my best friend. Uh, makes great cocktails, and their food and their whiskey selection is impeccable. Anyway. Maybe they only have one barrel. I feel like uh, the bacon in that peanut butter with this would pair really well. The mash and drum. He wants yeah. some percussion. Want some percussion? Here's the blind. What? Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! So many things are happening. Hold on, I'll get it. Um, Rick says, "Where did it go?" Okay. What are you doing? Mash and drum. Cheers to you guys. Here's the blind samples and good bourbon. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. I will cheers you with my heartiest cowbell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna kick that up a notch because that's our highest. Super chat of the day. Will you hold this, please? And will you dampen it, please? A little bit? Yeah, that'll work. <clears throat> there we go. Brought out the real drumsticks just for you. Mash and drum. Go check out his, his YouTube channel. He's reviewing lots of whiskeys on there. And Do he's, it. And he's a drummer. Go over there. Go oh, check him out. that's why. That makes sense. The drum. I get it. <laughs> Took me a minute. Okay. Um, Rick says he thinks putting it in a cocktail is one step from pouring it down the toilet. Um, no. No. It's in lieu of. Like, we see these people pouring things down the toilet and, and it breaks our heart. Like To be fair, it's your bourbon to do with what you want. Sure. But I know lots of people who have a bare bourbon shelf who are just new to bourbon and they don't really know what they like. And honestly, sometimes I like kind of crappy stuff. And so I'm like, your yeah. tastes are clearly not developed yet, and you just want something to drink. You don't care what it is, so here. And some people would say, well, I would never subject my friends to something this bad. But obviously someone likes it because they make it. So it's all about, I think, just finding the right use for it or finding that person who likes it. You know? Did we just break our record? We did. 169 watching? I think so. Wow. Wow. Wow, guys. 
All right, let's move on. While we have 169 watching, let's right, uncork let's something. Let's Who wants to see us uncork something? Another live uncorking. We have not uncorked this thing many things in a row ever. 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 First time ever. All right, I've got to grab a new glass here. Here we go. So this is Woodenville. Uh, this was sent to us by Joseph Brazo. Yes. Whew. Brazo. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to mess it up. Um, and this is from Washington State. And it is hard to open. So <laughs> there's that. And we're losing people. We're losing them. Oh, they Hang said, in there, guys. I'm going to get this open. Why shame on me? Drink what you like and how you like. That's what I said. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't know. What yeah. did I say? We say don't pour it down. Give it to a friend. Put it in a cocktail. Uh, I have I know friends who have put a whiskey they don't like in a bigger thing, put peaches in it, set it out in the sun, and make a peach whiskey. Yeah, you could literally infuse that and then further, like, bake a barrel-aged cocktail out of that. And that would be super interesting, I Totally. Think. Okay, I think I can get the cork off from here. Maybe. But, I yeah, don't know. I guess I said something wrong. No, you didn't. You're fine. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, I mean the pop wasn't went, loud, but it, it was like a geyser. It's filled to the brim. I like that. Hmm, interesting. Um, All good. I was like, I just want to make it clear that I didn't say that anyone. I'm up for whatever you want to do with it. We you, have it on video. We can, you do we can what roll you want. back. So this truly small batch bourbon starts with traditionally grown rye and malted barley. All of our staple grains are cultivated exclusively for us on the. Omlin family farm in Quincy, Washington. The grains are mashed, distilled, and barreled in our Wood Woodenville distillery, and then trucked over to the Cascade Mountains to our private barrel houses, where Central Washington's extreme temperature cycles promote the extraction of natural flavors from the oak. Cool. Uh, prior to being coopered, the barrel uh, barrel wood is seasoned in open air rain, wind, sun, and snow for 18 months, Ooh. softening the wood's harsh tannins. Open air? Open air. That's mode. interesting. The barrels are then slowly toasted and heavily charred to further enrich the wood's desirable flavors. This meticulous process yields a truly handcrafted spirit with aromas of creme brulee and Ooh. spiced and spice cabinet, which I just think is a weird way to like say like all the, spice. Or like the whole, <laughs> the like whole the cabinet? It, it tastes like a cabinet. <laughs> Uh, as well as notes of rich caramel or caramel, dark chocolate, and vanilla bean on the palate with a sweet lingering finish. Done. They were, keep asking what the name is. Woodenville. This is called Woodenville. Woodenville. Wood in I N Ville. Uh, handcrafted in Washington how's State. This? Um, you say you ah. can't. You can't read the label. No, you can't. You can't. But that's you what can. it looks like. Yeah. There you go. You can read it there. Woodenville. Woodenville. Boop. Thanks to Joseph Brazo for sending this. Boop. You rock. He also sent that uh, wine. He sent me wine. That was very nice. Which is awesome. I haven't opened it yet. I think I'm going to save it for the holidays and like open it with people that I really like. Open it with people? But I, Well, Chad doesn't love wine. It, but I, He drinks it. He doesn't it. like... He enjoys it, but yeah. I would like to make it an occasion. An occasion. We'll make a day of it. We'll make a day of it. Plus, it's too hot here right now to open a red. I feel like to open like a really good red. Ah, back to 169. Can we hit yes. 170? Tell your friends. Tell your moms. <laughs> yeah, if Pam's here. Tell your moms. They can talk about something. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, she says me? She's, she's still here. <laughs> yes. Yes, you. Yes. Oh, yeah. If you want to try the red wine, Pam, you can try it. Mm -hmm. We'll give it a shot. I like the smell of this. I mean, it's not like... So it's unique. Super jumping out there. I'm so, getting like raspberry. Is that weird? Raspberry brazo. Brazo. It is raspberry. Okay, I'm not making this up, you okay. guys. I've only said blueberry one other time before. We have 172 watching. Cheers Boom! to you, 172. Record breaking. We're uncorking this Woodenville right now. Generously sent to us by Joseph Brazo. Thank you so much for joining. Washington bourbon here this is 90 proof by the way and this distillery has been around since 2010 so an eight-year-old distillery straight bourbon whiskey uh no age statement so we are assuming that it is four years old we'll give it the benefit of the doubt yeah even though some people don't seem to obey the law like all i get off of this is raspberry it's so weird i've never thought that before it's pretty raspberry -y. yeah i want to taste it raspberry-ish She's been on the show. But she, they said maybe a Mother's Day special. That's what we did yeah. for her this time. She doesn't drink bourbon, so 
Maybe we'll do she like a holiday wine. episode with moms or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Figure it out. Wow, 182. Holy crap. Cheers to you, sir. Wow. Wow, wow. guys. All right, let's drink this Come while they're, on. While I they're did. here. I oh, are, you did. I already drank it. It's good. It's good. It's a solid bourbon. Uh, it's so- whoa, whoa. Good, 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 good. Oh. It's like a whoop whoop. A or like a whoop. Um <laughs> It does have some flavors on the show. It is so. a little pie like. Ah, pie crust. I'm intrigued by it. I get I get the crust on the finish and like those uh what were you saying, raspberry? I'm not so big on the the fruit, so that's harder for me to pick up on because I don't really eat raspberries. Someone said cocktails with Pam, and I think that's a great cocktails idea. Cocktails with Pam. Like, just a short segment. It could be, like, cocktails. three minutes long, one subject with Pam, just real quick. Yeah. Not li- not live. We would just do cocktails with Pam. Yeah, it does taste like 314. Pearls of Wisdom. Repeating. 3.14. Pam. 3.14. <laughs> mm. No, it's, it's, uh, it's not, like, savory, but it does really have a, a food type of finish to it yeah it goes very bready mm-hmm. i think that was what i was like whoa what's Cru- happening crusty and by that i mean crust. crust pie crust but not like a sugary seasoned crust like a, little flowery. a doughy crust yeah. a flowery crust yeah, yeah. um that's Ooh. really weird i would love this with some pecans i think it's more of a fruit pie but i think personally pecan... you can say i mean you have your own opinions this is your show too <laughs> <laughs> like some sugared pecans I feel like we go really well with this. Yeah. Just saying. So we're like really honing in on the food aspect of these craft bourbons. Like, Which is... Put it with this, put it with this. And I wonder if it's because it's more... Like it they're ha- more outside they're of the box. They're not old enough, too, to have like more of that barrel sugar car- caramel vanilla yeah. influence. It's yeah. like a younger thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's where we're getting this like weird flavors and fruit from, but it's been a fun ride today. I'm, a, I'm yeah. enjoying this. Oh, absolutely. We still have one more to go. A pecan flower crust. I've never heard of that. That's mm. interesting. I make almond flour things. I like it. I mean, I could drink on this. This is good. I think, yeah, I could drink on it. Um, I think that this is going to be one of those. I'm really into pairing things with food right now. Maybe we should do a food pairing episode, but then yeah. I think that you all don't want to see us chew and like talk <laughs> with our mouths full, so maybe that's not a good idea. I'm not really sure. Well, one could chew um, while the other one talks or something. Yeah, something like that, because I really have been into finding, like, what does it go well with? And I, after we did that episode with Peggy, no, Stevens, um, with the balance, counterbalance, explosion, like, I'm just so, like, would this go good with raspberries? Is that the balance? Mm. Or does it need to be counterbalance and be opposite of raspberry? I don't know. So, tag team chewing. Yes. That's how it would go. And we'll just, like, zoom in on our mouths as we chew. It's like, ah, uh, <laughs> ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, it's good. It's, it's... I'm impressed for <laughs> outside of Kentucky <laughs> and craft. What an no. elitist. I, no, I am. I'm impressed by it. I, I dig it. I give it an approval. I don't know. Well, hold on. I pulled this up. Uh, oh, look. We got a mash bill. Oh, look. Oh, look. There's a mash bill. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> Here it is. So it's uh, 72% corn, 22% rye. 6% malted barley, non age stated, but this site, uh, which is thewhiskeyjug.com, is saying five to six years. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. 45% ABV, so that's 90 proof. Yeah, that's um, this one. MSRP, $55. Okay. I mean, you expect that on a. Someone craft. said, let's see. Jacob said, um, Jacob Porter said, with cheesecake. You're speaking my language. Oh, I love cheesecake. Yes. And I feel like the, those fatty, creamy notes from a cheesecake would be really good with this. That's really intriguing. So here's what the whiskey jug says mm. about the palate. He says, or he or she, I don't know which, or both, says tropical fruit, brown sugar, spice, vanilla, herbal, raw wood, and uh, light bits of nut. Tropical fruit. Tropical fruit. I don't think a raspberry is a tropical fruit, but I get it. I, yeah. I feel where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's this bottle. Yeah, interesting. Looks like they make a rye as well. Ooh. 100% rye. At oh. That. I mean, yeah, so for, for people who like rye, yay. Um, I love high rye bourbons, and I love low rye ryes, but 
I don't know about 100% rye. That sounds like a lot for me. For all of you who cheer on our thumbs up and our likes for, during every episode, thank you so much. You guys are like our cheerleading team. I love it. Uh, it makes internet, me so happy. On the internet, it's called a squad, not a cheerleading team. It's a squad. Thanks for being our squad. <laughs> I can't believe that you just had to teach me something about the internet. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Chad Winters, I was going to say, our love stream, what? Someone said, what's your live stream setup? But he That's he, later. He, um... He accidentally typed love stream, love stream, and he said, I think the love stream info is private. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's true. That's it's not part of our brand. After dark. Yeah. It's yeah. Bourbonite after dark. Uh, our live stream setup, we use OBS. Uh, we use a DSLR. Um, mm. And, we uh, yeah, and we have two external Rode mics up here, uh, a Zoom H6 uh, for the recorder, running into the computer and just OBS, you know, all free. Angepin76, what? Boom. Boom. Keep $10. up the great content. Thank you. You didn't say, you didn't specify your you didn't uh, say no cowbell. request on cowbell, so. This is for people who get your, yeah, bourbon squad, there you go. Who get uh, Monty Python. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. I mean, I know what it is, yeah. but. I thought you were gonna like do something else, but no. I liked it. I liked the shame one that you did shame. last weekend. That was my favorite. <laughs> shame. There's not a whole lot of movies that reference or use a cowbell, so it's kind of slim pickings. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Greatly appreciated. All right. Wade Lynn Ranch is our last one. We're bringing it. We're bringing it back. Bringing it back to Kentucky here. So this is a little what we call a grenade. It basically looks like a barrel. Um, <laughs> And I'm not sure where these guys are located, except that they're in Kentucky. Um, I will say that they need a new website. Yeah, they should. They should. Website. They should do it. So their mash bill is 80% corn, 10% barley, and 10% oats. Okay. Interesting. They use 53-gallon oak barrels with a char number three. Oats. And we age each barrel as long as we can around three years at present. So that means, you know, they're going to keep going, which yeah. is commendable. A little twist off here. We'll see if no they cork. should, though. Because <laughs> I'm very concerned about, whoa, I'm very concerned about these oats. <laughs> like Quaker? Yeah. What? <laughs> um, can Diabetes. you be more specific? I like when the little Elijah Craigs come in the grenade. Mm -hmm. I think they're so cute. Yep. I'm going to put them in people's stockings, but they're expensive, so, no. Yep. 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 Chad's like, stop talking. <laughs> no. When Chad says, mm-hmm, 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 he mm -hmm. really means, mm -hmm. shut, no. up, shut, shut up, 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 shut up. No, that's not I already true. know. That's not true at all. All and right. And our signal for stop it or get away from me is, tap, tap. That's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sarah. Yeah, okay. You take that now. <laughs> okay. Way he doesn't like me telling his secret. So this comes in, uh... Uh, fifths, 750, 750 milliliters. This is a little 200 though. This is only like, I want to say around $20. So I was like, yeah, I want to try this. Again, this is our highest proof one of the day, 122 proof. Mm-hmm. 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 Smells a little youthful. I gotta say... 184. The... What? 184. Hell yeah. Cheers. Wow. Wow. If you're just joining wow. us... Wow. 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 Thank you for just joining us, That's 185. High. That is high. That's like the highest we've ever been. So Boom. Thanks. Record like, breaking. But not like highest Breaking I've records. Ever been. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> We're gonna get flagged. <laughs> yeah, it smells a little... Youthful. Hey. Maybe it's Odie smelling. It's I don't know. not promising. The not like not Odie promising. Garfield's. Again, dog, if you're just now joining us, this OT. is Wade Lynn Ranch Barrel Proof. 180. What'd you say? 122. 122. What? Yeah. 180. What's that? Uh, it can't be 180. 80, say nutty. 80. Nutty. 80% <laughs> corn, 10% barley, and 10% oats. So it makes sense why their logo is a horse, because horse, horses eat. Barley oats. and oats. <laughs> Alright. I'm scared. Honestly, I am. Well, that's a kick. 
That's a kick. Oh, I am at a horse's trough right now. It feels like on a farm. I am. I'm, I'm a farm animal. I'm eating. <laughs> I'm eating the uh, slop. That's for pigs. I'm eating the. Oh no! I don't think I like it. It's got a long finish. It's still going. It's still going. Jose. Oh, Jose! Cheers. Drink, nutty. We will do what you say. <laughs> Oh man! Oh jeez! Yeah. And you guys are starting with it again. Oh my god! Chapel, you fool means awful. You, not always. You, he's conditioned to it now. He's not. A, he doesn't turn red anymore. It's not fun. He, uh, uh, <laughs> Jose said, "Drink for the nutty." He didn't say cowbell. So. Well, we only have four minutes left. So if you don't, well, okay, just a quick cowbell, just a quick one. I'm gonna do an, an off-screen cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> As so I funny. awkwardly look into the camera. That was weird. Yeah. Um, the eye contact was a little Is weird. it worse than scotch? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Mm -mm. I have no. to say no. No. It's not. It's not. It's almost as bad as some of the peatier scotches that I've had. And I don't mean bad. Like, of course, if you like it, that's great. It's not It's not for me. It does yeah. not make Sarah smile. We're no. only giving the opinion of two people. Right. I can only tell you from my perspective. <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, it doesn't really. Sarah, no like. Tastes like 122 proof once you kind of have does. a few. Well, the first one, yeah. The but heat. When you have a couple drinks. Um, but I will tell you, we've had a few younger tasting ones today, and I can almost feel a headache coming. You on. know what? Honestly, it is bordering on scotch. I got. I gotta be honest. For me, like the amount that I don't like it. It's so youthful, and. The cor it's very corn. Wow, like, my mouth is numb. It's numb. It's <laughs> hot. Like, I'm getting a lot of alcohol vapors in my mouth. It's She's got the vapors. I got the vapors. Um, I, I can't say... Yeah, I, I can't... I, again, I feel like more time in proper, you know, conditions, proper barrels, whatever. It has potential, but it's just not there. Ha, ba, 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 I want to like things from Kentucky. Uh, I do, but I can't lie. It needs more time. It's got potential, but it's like, you gotta, you gotta. Bye, Chad. He just decided to go. <laughs> no, I know what he's doing. You all, we will be live streaming next week. Not from the chapel, though. Um, uh, was that an ouch because you hit the table, or yep. was that an ouch because you heard me say chapel? Table. <laughs> um. Yeah. 189? We, we were. We were. While oh, you were man. gone. Oh, so you should I get leave it. again. No, I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> yeah. So, where was I? You, you, it's no french fries and frosty, that's for sure. No. I'm gonna do a little palate resetter here. Yeah. I can't, I want to be nice to things, but I also can't do that because I can't lie. Because we gotta you. be honest. I can't lie to you. It's our reputation on the line. Yeah. Um, but what I admire about them is they say we age each barrel as long as we can, which presently is around three years, which, which means, means they have the intention of doing it longer. Four years from now, if they're doing the same thing and that's seven years. That is what I would be excited to try. Because like I said, I think it's a good base. It's like you got to start somewhere, right? And yeah. you just, you have the right ingredients. It just needs... It's just not there. It's a 36 month old product, which is along the same lines as Benchmark and, um, you know, some of those others that are 36 months. <laughs> ancient Age, although Ancient Age is actually pretty darn good for a 36 month old product. They want to um, know if you spit. No, he just, he hit the camera button because if, if yeah. we leave it on for more than an hour, it clicks off and you won't be able to see us. So yeah. he did not get up to spit it out. I'm, I'm taking <laughs> us into extra innings because you guys have been so good to us today. You've been so nice. And we've hit records. So and we're gonna... we're, we've still got a great audience here. Now I'm like, yeah. we have 185 of you. What do we do now? Thank you, Jose. I got... It is cracker time. Oh, yes. I, I do think um, that... Thank you, Kyle. We will enjoy Austin. I hope to see a lot of you there. Like, I know, obviously, you all can't be there because you're from around the world. So, fire, one and 91. 191? I love it. You guys rock. Wow. Um, we're going to keep this going because 190. Um, I need huh. a, Also, I need a palate cleanser after that besides crackers. So, Brian. Wow. See you next weekend. 
What? Dang. I mean, please, Thank please you, tell me. I need bars. I need a bar to have this meetup because I need to create a Facebook event and tell people where to go. So I, help me. Please help me. <laughs> Email me. It's bourbonnight at gmail.com. Message us on Instagram. I don't care. Just help. <laughs> All right. That's for all 190 of you. Wow. Wow. Right, let's have something. Mm. Sal is one, watching two, on two. One, two, three, four. Oh, sorry. Sal's watching on two devices to give us that extra bump. Oh, <laughs> What should we 193. have? 193. Okay, I got something for you guys. What should we have? I got something for is you. Is it a surprise? Yeah. What is it? It's a surprise. This is for going into extra endings. This is for the super chats. This is for our highest viewed audience ever ever in this a is chat for you. i'll be right back all right don't leave stay here I'm, you 193 I'm, I'm keeping the theme going I'll tell you he's that. keeping the theme going he's running downstairs to get something i don't even know what it is yet um just like don't go no you're leaving stop leaving okay um i don't know any impressions so oh here he is Ooh, what is that i'll tell you once i come back Okay, <clears throat> and I'm back. And he's back, what is it? So this uh, was a birthday present from my good friend Russell. And he, this is another craft distillery and it's another out of state. Oh, that's nine years. Yeah, this is a nine year single barrel reserve straight bourbon whiskey, uh, 86 proof from Virginia Beach, Virginia. What? Yeah. Thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah, thank you, Jeffrey. Um, 36 month whiskey. Are we excited to try Eleanor? I don't know what that is. Who's Eleanor? Tell me more. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And why are we trying her? Thank you for still being here, all of you guys. We're gonna. No, not in not not in Eddie Russell. Uh, if you watched the Russell's Reserve uncorking, that Russell. Russell that was an old Russell one. Johnson. It's his name. That was an old one. We used to have a music news review site on YouTube. That was the two of us. That's where Chad started his YouTube career. It's true. 2009, I think. Yeah, 2009. Oh, I should have told embarrassing Chad stories while you were gone. Oh, boo-hoo. Whoa, Dustin. What? Peter's life. But love the bourbon life. Thank you. Thank you. You open that. All right. You yeah, all don't you like it. some cowbell. Y'all don't like it when I do it because I'm like, <laughs> boring. Went with the old standard. Shave and a haircut, uh, two bits. I'm obviously the creative one of the group. <laughs> Shave and a haircut, two mm -hmm. bits. All right. And what, Doug? Doug. Doug. Fun to join in on a record day. I need, like, some tom-toms and some... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Man, I never. I, I really need to think about some beats. Joseph, you rock. Thank you so much. Oh, you I guys, got one. all of you. I got one. I got I can't one. even. I got. You're one. buying my triangle. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna require you to hold it. All right. Cowbell. That girl is poison. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. I love that. In Scrubs, when Turk does that dance, the... Yeah. Yes. I lo ugh, One of my favorite episodes. It's awesome. All right. Let's drink it. Let's smell it. It's so mild. Ooh. I mean, this smells of its age. Again, this is a nine-year. It's called Old Cavalier. This is only sold at uh, the... Bourbon makes you kinder, smarter, stronger. I feel like that should be a shirt. Yeah. Tyler... That's genius. Bourbon makes you kinder, smarter, stronger. Not to ba -da -da -da, drink more <laughs> bourbon. <laughs> uh, this is only sold at the distillery, or I want to say it's like a hotel or, or something. He had some type of. I wasn't listening. But. Oh, Eleanor is the whiskey vault. Is a whiskey vault product. Oh, it's like the whiskey tribe kind of. That then makes sense. Yes. <laughs> then yes. Ignorant. I feel like an idiot. Ignorant. No one told us about it. Ignorance on this side. We're dummies. All right. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Mm. That's good. <laughs> so again, 92, awesome. Mm. So again, this can only be purchased. Let me call purchased. Pam. Pop back on, get all of our family. <laughs> yeah, this is this is uh, can only be purchased at the site. Mm -hmm. So Virginia, you have to go to Virginia Beach, Virginia to get this. Tarnished Truth Distilling. Tarnished Truth Distilling. I kind of like that. Old Cavalier. But it also makes me question had their honesty. Like, it's the truth but tarnished? I don't understand. It says all rise for Virginia here on the uh, on the tag. It should so say where we... rise. Rise. No, but like rye. Oh, is rise. It... <gasps> Big T um, Bourbon and Cigar, shut up. Did we hit 200? What? I don't see it. I see 195 on my screen. If we hit 200, you guys, that's insane. That is insane. <gasps> 200 200 was say 200 what? oh my god ah <laughs> wow 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 guys cheers to you cheers oh cheers you're my you heartiest so bourbon yes sarah uh, recap the states we've gone to today we've gone to um where was we've gone to washington state we've gone to north carolina uh we went back well we came back home to kentucky um, where else did we go? We went to Texas. How do y'all? DC and, and Virginia. Virginia. We've wow. been all over we have been the traveling. US today. If we travel to your state today, let us know in the comments. Everyone who got us to two hundred, Jesse rock. <laughs> Jesse Pickman. I love you. Do it. Yo. Old Cavalier. I've been calling you for like, I don't know, forever. Pick up your phone. You bitch. It's <laughs> my favorite line to do. Of his. Oh, really? They couldn't tell. <laughs> where's my money, bitch? Yo, where's my money, bitch? Bitch, oh, where's my money? Eric. Thank Eric. You. Thank you. Wow. 200. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers to you. Incredible. Cheers, cheers to everybody. Incredible. This is... Well, I'm nuts. not cooking after this. <laughs> it's worth it, though. Um, it's worth it. Well, I mean, I feel Wisconsin. like... Wisconsin. Okay. I sent you money. Take his sticks away now. Okay. No cowbell for eric no cowbell for eric sorry eric okay. some people like it some people don't i really don't know where to strike that balance <laughs> or not to strike, or strike that at cowbell all. yeah i don't know where to, don't strike. Know where to strike that cowbell wendy's it is yes does wendy's deliver That'll science bitch wendy's needs to deliver magnets bitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah they do uh yeah we 200 are solid right there. 200 boom right now. for those Crazy. of you who what? just joined us we tried garrison brothers today we tried Doc Porter's uh, Wooden Wooden Woodenville. Ville, Woodenville, my bad. Wadeland Ranch. This guy. Old Cavalier. Old Cavalier. And we had a mystery sample from Sal L, which was the Joseph Magnus. Uh, Twelve and a half year. Yes. Uh, whiskey bourbon scotch enthusiast pick. So that's what we did today, and 200 people liked it. So Let's, let's rank them. Ooh. I would say... The sample. Uh, yeah, I would also favorite. say the sample, but that's not fair because it's 12 years old. I know. If it's 12 and a half years old, is it sourced? I don't know about Joseph Magnus, if it's sourced or not. I would have to think. Are they over 12 years old? Well, it's a blend. Probably not. Probably not. 
But I don't know off the top of so my non, head. So non, non. I would need to do some distilling research. producer in NDP. No big deal. Lots of people do it. Mm-hmm. Might be MGP. Well, they're juice, Indiana. Might be, uh, it might be Kentucky. Who knows? Anyway, Indiana? I like that the best. DC. I probably put this second. I agree. I probably put the Woodenville third. Agreed. I would uh, put the Garrison Brothers fourth. Agreed. I put the Doc Porter's fifth. Yeah, we do the same. We're and the, the same. Wayne Lynn sixth. Yes, same, same. You know, but I feel like the Garrison Brothers and the Wooden View, I'd have to blind them. Woodenville. Woodenville. Why did I say View? I don't, I don't know. know what my problem is. Yeah, I could see those interchanging, actually. I um, agree. Garrison Brothers and Joseph. Joseph. Wow. We just told you. I feel you. like there was a delay because you Yeah, did. we just told you. Thank you. <laughs> but thank you. I, I, yeah. You're, yeah. But when I come skiing. I'll bring out the much quieter fake cowbell. <laughs> ding, 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 ding for you. Thank you, Joseph. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. I threw it in the air. Didn't Jesus. want to hit you in the head. Um, yeah, so that, that would be our breakdown. But yeah, uh, our, so, like I said, we could see Garrison Brothers hitting that third spot and the uh, Woodenville slipping to fourth. They could, they could be interchangeable yeah. for hitting 200. Thank you, Todd Cooper. Todd Cooper's We hit two records today. Yeah. The most Super Chats and the most viewers. Yes. I don't even know what to do myself after today. I don't even know. I feel like Another I theme should just song? mic drop. I quit. I can't do any better than, than I just came doing right See, now. See, we already did Doug. And boy, uh, what else? Let's do... Todd. Todd Cooper. Woo! Do, 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 Todd Cooper. Woo! DuckTales. Again, I'm right. really <laughs> glad that he's got the sound pad because I don't. It's frosty time. Um, it's frosty yeah. time. Stay okay. frosty, everybody. So in case you missed the recap... Mystery sample from Sal L, just Magnus. Sal L, the house uh, of L. Whiskey bourbon scotch enthusiast pick. Choice number one. Number two. Three and four. Tied for third, I would say, would be the Woodenville and the Garrison Brothers. And then the Doc Porters and then the Wayland Ranch. We are thankful for everyone who helped give us these things. Because almost all of them came from other people mm -hmm. as gifts or donations or samples The only one that didn't is the Wayland Ranch. Right. I, I bought that one. Yeah. And so, like... Thanks for making this episode happen. We couldn't do it without you guys. Um, yeah. And someone says I ate two pounds of cherries watching this. I hope I'll be okay. I am also concerned for I'm you. Concerned about your cherry consumption, um, honestly. I feel like that's about it. Unless yeah. there's any more questions, I feel like we ought to get out of here. Yeah, like while the getting's good. While the getting's good, you know, <laughs> like when they you make four seasons of a show and everybody loves it, and then they're like four more seasons, and then by the end of it, everyone hates it. Yeah. I don't want to be it's that. It's lost. Person. We don't want to be lost. We don't want to turn into lost. I don't want to be the show lost. We want to be Breaking Bad, bitch. So mm -hmm. we're gonna head on out. Uh, quit it while yeah. it's good. Quit it. Hit it. We hit it. Now let's quit it. Thanks to all the Super Chats. Thank you to the Super Chats. Thanks um, to all you viewers. Thanks so much. Thanks to our patrons who are on here. Uh, and just thanks to everybody in and general. And stay tuned to our Facebook page about the Austin event meetup for next Sunday. We're shooting for 4 to 6 p.m. next Sunday in Austin. So we're really excited, and we just need to find a bar, and we'll make it happen. We can hang out with you guys. It would be so fun. Yeah. And we'll go live at some point next weekend. Yep. We just don't know what our opportunities are yet, so stay tuned. And to it'll the probably channel. be on the phone, so we'll, you'll be traveling around with us on the phone. So that you can see what it's like there if yeah. you can't make it. Yep. So. All right. See you in Austin, Jose. Thank Nutty. you. Nutty. 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 <laughs> uh, drink. So, cool. Well, um, thanks for hanging out with us on a gloomy Sunday. Hope it was more cheery in your neck of the woods. And if not, hopefully we made it a little more cheery for you. Yep. Uh, we know that you all made it very cheery for us. So That's why we do this. With that in mind, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Till next time. See you guys in Austin. Drink more bourbon.